Jason, welcome to Gearbox. This is probably the most expensive radio microphone I've ever held. <laughs> it is. It's a very impressive piece of gear, Jimmy. This is um, upwards of $10,000 a channel, I believe. Around about $10,000 a mm. channel retail if you buy them in blocks of eight, I believe. Right, right. So it's not something you're going to put in the local school hall. Mm. Uh, but for high-end production, this has got some uh, some serious scope. It has. It has. I'm extremely impressed by the specifications uh, on this unit. They've actually already sold into the Australian market. That's um, pretty so good. So that's a that's that's a great ringing endorsement for a product that's just just come out. So mm. yeah. Now a little bit of background on on what this is and what it does. I guess is probably worth covering. It's yeah. a Sennheiser Digital 9000 system. Um, the receiver is an eight-channel unit. It covers nearly 300 meg bandwidth, or mm -hmm. actually a bit over. Uh, your antennas, which have the built-in boosters, work across one of two sections of that bandwidth. So basically, you pick which half of the bandwidth you want to use, and then you receive. Oh, sorry, your transmitters work in half the antennas' bandwidth. Mm. So basically, uh, you've got you've got some choices, uh, and obviously there are more channel blocks available than are going to be really useful once the digital dividend kicks through in Australia. Mm. Um, I think that sort of just says it's really, it's built for an international market yeah, more yeah. than anything else. Mm. Uh, what are your thoughts on the back? Uh, on the back, there's a, there's a great range of connectivity. Um, we've got uh, analog outputs, which have each got their own transformer isolated on them, so that's fantastic. Uh, there's AES outputs uh, on paired XLRs, and there's just for, uh, you know, in case you want to do it, there's a 25-pin D-sub as well, uh, duplicating those outputs. Land connectivity, uh, serial control, um, it's it's got everything. I mean, I, but to me, the most impressive thing about this unit is the, what it's transmitting. It's completely uncompressed, uncompanded raw digital audio yeah. from, from these microphones into the receiver. I mean, that that's a market first. Uh, I like that you can cascade antennas across a couple of units. I think it's up to four, four receivers you can run off one pair of, of antennas. We've got the... Uh, the big directional paddles here, and we're standing right between them, which is probably not the healthiest <laughs> idea. No. Uh, but it seems to be handling it, so uh, mm. I'm not going to fight that. Um, any other thoughts? Where, where do you think this is going to land? Uh, look, I immediately see applications for this in broadcast and also high-end musical theatre. I mean, Sennheiser have been a mainstay of that industry uh, for quite a long time, and uh, just with the ease of setup and the extremely high-quality result you get from it, I see it really going into that marketplace quite strongly. Yeah, and I think the fact that you can actually stack your channels a consistent mm bandwidth apart, I think it's 600k separation between yep. channels. Um, it's really sort of a testament to how well it's all sort of been encoded and, mm. and thought about. Could you just describe again for me uh, the uh, process that the, the unit uh, goes through with the antennas and the boosters when oh, you first set it up? It yeah, was really this interesting. Is, this is really cool. When you first, mm. obviously, you connect the antennas. Mm. When you turn the unit on, it pulls the antennas to find out which block they're running in. Mm. Then it gets the antennas to turn on an internal tone generator mm -hmm. and the receiver then measures how much tone there is appearing versus mm. how much there should be. And it uses that difference to calculate what's lost in the cable mm -hmm. and uh, and obviously apply makeup gain or, or, or boost the output of the antennas. Yeah, so there's a lot more going on in these than just a dumb paddle. Oh, they're they're brainy antennas. Yeah. And, and it's not, you know, it's not just a blue LED. It's, <laughs> it's actually some brains inside that. Yeah, I mean that's amazing. Yeah. Look, yeah. it's a pretty cool piece of kit. I I rate this. Yep, absolutely. I'd love to get my hands on this during a gig. <laughs>